Case full of indie games headed to the Nintendo Switch system. Let's dive right in. Good news, guys. It looks like the um, controls working again. I don't know what caused it to play it last time, but it looks like it's back online. Um, but at least I know one thing before we get started. At least I know I can use the console one specifically. So I do want to listen to this. I don't want to use the headphones for this situation. I'll turn it down on my TV so um, I don't. You don't hear the triplicate sound. Uh, let's get started, guys. So I'm hoping this is interesting. I'm not sure. Any details? I've seen some tweets there and there, but I avoided them as soon as I heard Nintendo. So let's go and get started. I oh, will do this. Um, we'll probably do a. Uh, I'm debating if I'll do another video after this, talking about it in de more detail. So my main goal is to do this video, just go through these um, reactions. I'll probably make another video, guys. It probably won't be very long, five or ten minutes. Usually a quick reaction, guys. It's nothing too um, long. I'm not really into the long, really long videos. I like to get to the point like really quickly. That's my type of um, goals, even though it's probably not the best thing for um you growing on YouTube, especially with um watch time shit. But that's how I like to work. So let's go and get started, guys. So let's do it. Sorry guys, I had to turn it down. Alright, oh, um, what is this? I saw the cooking game, guys. Do you know how much I like cooking games? Not at all. I'm really not into the whole cooking thing. If I want to cook, guys, I'll go out to the kitchen and get ingredients and cook. That's how I prefer to do things. So, yeah. Even so, guys, I wasn't going to do this until a bit later, but um, the online bank app is not working, so I think it's down. Hi, I'm Abby. I'm Sue. And I'm Sharon. We're making a cooking game called Venba, which is about an immigrant Indian mother and her family coming to Canada in the 80s. Oh, look at all the food in there, guys. You've got the three people and the little cat. And their immigrant parents. So we want to choose like cooking as one of my cats. Tell the story not, of this no, it's family pretty as close to it. Change. We often see the kids' side of these stories, but as we ourselves got older, we thought telling the parents' side might make for an interesting change of perspective. And we hope you find it interesting too. Bon appetit and enjoy the show. We'll try to. Mmm, something smells delicious. Grab a spoon and get a taste of this wholesome narrative cooking game. Help an Indian mother who has recently immigrated to Canada reconnect with her heritage by cooking a variety of mouth-watering South Indian dishes. Experience a story of love and loss through branching conversations. Uh -huh. Try to restore lost family recipes and bop along to a soundtrack inspired by Indian musicals. Start working up an appetite for Vemba coming to the Nintendo yeah, Switch system so, next to spring. Games unless I'm actually want to cook. Hey, Rico, ever Good wanted to world, make a game? Name. Yeah, but it's a lot harder than you might think. Just ask Kani'i and Kumade, two friends striving to find the perfect idea for their next game. Watch their story develop as you play through stages of a retro-inspired puzzle platformer while following their day-to-day -day struggles. Their recent games haven't exactly been raking in profits, so both of them must work part-time jobs to make ends meet. Will their friendship be able to take the strain of these challenges? Find All right, out when like Goodbye World guys. launches on Nintendo Switch so later start. this month. All right, maybe this one will bring it out. Oh, this looks all right. Have a nice kit. Okay, this one looks good, guys. Um, what's it? Metroid first, top game, guys. It's a senior top game. Yeah, definitely interesting, guys. I like this type of style. It looks really nice and kind of pretty in the colors. I mean, it matches the top of game news, it's that kind of dark game, so it's got a lot of the, um, the dark colours, like black and grey and even white and grey. I actually like that one, that looks really nice. I'm dying to play this one. It would be a grave mistake to skip it. Don the Robes of Death Incorporated CEO, Death himself, in this grimly charming roguelike game. 
It looks like your subordinates have been working overtime, so it's up to you to restore work-death balance. There are 70 wicked weapons and scorching spells at your disposal, all of which can be upgraded to create devastating combos yep. as you hack and slash your way through Definitely the corporate underworld. Game, guys. Uh, one of the perks of being death is that, though, not sure well, that you can't is. die. So use what you've learned and earned to overcome each department's vengeful minions and bosses. Reap what you sow when Have a Nice Death slashes onto Nintendo oh, Switch nice. March 22nd. Saying, but okay. Pre-orders begin later today. Bonjour, je suis Justine. Et moi. Et nous sommes Cosmo Gato. Passionnés de films d'animation, et après avoir travaillé sur des longs métrages, nous avons voulu créer un monde magique que l'on pourrait right, s'approprier. En effet, après avoir grandi avec des films d'animation traditionnels des années 90, oui. Il m'était naturel de dessiner un monde luxuriant, organique et peint à la main, avec une histoire qui, je l'espère, vous touchera. Merci. Merci. Is there anything better than relaxing in nature and enjoying the gentle sea breeze? What about doing both of those things while lying on top of a giant capybara? In this small open world game, you have one goal: find inner peace on an isolated island paradise. As the retired warrior Aka, explore handcrafted islands covered in majestic mountains, Mine. dense it's tropical mighty, forests, and inviting sure. hot springs. Spend your time here however you'd like. Nurture the island's flora and fauna, build a shelter, craft items, or feed these adorable baby dragons. Or go on quests to meet mysterious characters, friendly I mean, giants, looks nice, guys, and face the ghosts of the past. Yeah, it's a 50 I mean... Aka washes up on Nintendo Switch. So that might be something Switch to look into, but I'm not 100 percent sure. So far, it's only one game I'm really interested in. Uh, right. Oh, like maybe three, two games I'm interested in. Oh, you're saying it's a lot like um, a couple of games like um, what's it? Ori in the well, Ori game. It looks like more of a puzzle game than that, but then again, that's definitely a puzzle game too. I mean, it's pretty fun. Dig for slime. You got robots, you got gas, everywhere, got lava, obviously, so why not? This looks pretty good, guys. I like it. So that'd be two good games so, so far. I mean, you're thinking about what five games now, I'm sure I'm, I'm, I'm considering. Can you dig this game? Yes, and so can Pepper. Oh, this God, spicy, drill wielding pun. treasure hunter has been shipwrecked and robbed. Now, she must spin up her trusty drill grinder to reclaim what was stolen from her. Chew through the terrain, perform impressive maneuvers, and solve tricky puzzles as you unearth collectibles for your gallery and gather up pieces of the scattered riches. Cash them in to Peppa Pepper and upgrade Grinder with new drill bits. Ramp up the chaos of the map and open up even more areas to dig in this thrilling drilling adventure. Oh, that looks more like a Mario thing at Pepper the end. Grindr I reckon they sold out of Mario, guys. on to Nintendo Switch next year. Whew. I think it's time we take a coffee break. Then pull up a chair. Maybe. Because this coffee brewing, narrative-driven visual novel is back for a second episode. As the barista of your own late-night coffee shop, meet quirky characters, listen to their heartfelt stories, uh, okay, and get to know game, them, guys. Not one really cup at a time, but... all while enjoying the cozy lo-fi soundtrack. I mean, I don't know not all of games, your not customers will be no, human. You'll encounter story. an opera singing banshee, an orc who makes games, and many more fantastical regulars. Experiment with ingredients to find just the right brew for each customer. Dazzle them with latte art masterpieces and uncover secret recipes that yeah, are definitely sure not to warm their heart. Friends who are Relax coffee fanatics. and stay a while when Coffee Talk Episode 2, Hibiscus right, and Butterfly, no. pours onto Nintendo Switch next spring. Unless it's a man for all, no, no guys. I mean, these are games I wouldn't play, but if this uh, stream demands it, I will. It's 
doesn't look too bad though. Definitely Japanese stock fine. Just tell by the look of it. Alright. Oh. Definitely Japanese guys, this looks pretty good. I mean doesn't give me much more doesn't give you much information on what top how you played and all that. No Take actual on gameplay. the role of a vengeful demon warrior in this spirited 3D action adventure. After his defeat at the hands of a Japanese folktale hero, Kuta travels to a small island where he joins forces with the spirit, Kazemaru. Ancient demons lurk within vast meadows and lush forests. To defeat them, you'll control both characters simultaneously using a single Joy-Con controller. Wield Kuta's club to attack demons, then summon Kazemaru to draw out their spirit. But beware, some demons are invincible, leaving you with no other choice than to flee the encounter. Can Kuta overcome his trials and become the most powerful demon? Begin your quest in Oni, Road to Be the Mightiest Oni, okay, when it comes so to another, Nintendo um, Switch, March 9th, 2023. Got one with death, you've got one demons. what's next? Um, one with like a sport theme. Dodgeball, look at it, maybe? Definitely a dodgeball inspired game, guys. A bit different than dodgeball normally, but you can see it more away. Alright, so definitely nope. From the creators of Monument Valley comes a character driven, roguelite, metaphorical ball game? Every night, when Desta falls asleep, they enter a mysterious dream world filled with scattered memories of long-forgotten locations, faces from days gone by, and yes, powerful orbs for playing a surreal turn-based ball game. Okay, Use yeah, the orbs so to pull off not perfect throws, uh, turn-based games. I'm not really a big fan of. And change the course of conversation. Um, I'm just not into it. As the night progresses and you fall deeper into a sweet slumber you'll unlock new abilities and ways to overcome challenges. You'll also meet a cast of colorful characters along the way, brought to life with a full voice cast. I'm not sure I can keep up. Unravel your dreams when Desta, The Memories Between, launches on Nintendo Switch early next year. Ah, uh, young love. Going to the movies, Maybe I school, might give a story one. Might using give supernatural it's be story mind one, reading powers. Might be one. Yeah. Wait. What? Yep. This slice of life pixel art game has it all. Set in 90s rural Indonesia, it follows high school sweethearts Atma and Raya through their journey of self-discovery. However, when a mysterious power suddenly threatens their existence, they must scour their vibrant little town in search of answers, talking and diving into the minds of the townsfolk to uncover deep secrets. Can Atma and Raya face the end of the world? Find out when A Space for the Unbound launches Maybe. on Nintendo Switch January 19th, 2023. Well, it's possibly, might be maybe not too. Well, I like the art style of this one, but it looks like the Pokemon Snap type thing. Alright, so I'm going to, um, do this type of thing. At the moment, I think I'm a bit disappointed. I mean, there's a lot of people who probably enjoy this type of thing, but I'm not one of them. A lot of it's still really story heavy. Ça Bonjour, je suis Cédric Babouche du studio Un Je Ne Sais Quoi et directeur artistique de Dordogne. Dordogne, c'est l'histoire de Mimi, une jeune femme sur les traces de ses souvenirs qu'elle a mystérieusement oubliés. Mm -hmm. Quand j'étais enfant, je me souviens que l'été était synonyme d'indépendance et d'exploration. Un moment magique où chaque jour était la promesse d'une nouvelle aventure. 
Notre studio souhaite recréer cette étincelle de nostalgie à ah, travers okay. le parcours de Mimi. Se sert d'un mélange de peinture traditionnelle et d'animation pour créer des sensations et un lien fort entre les visuels et les émotions que l'on souhaite partager. Que vous jouiez seul ou avec votre famille, on espère que vous apprécierez Dordogne. Look at these landscapes. Ooh la la, so pretty. Meet Mimi. As a child, she spent all of her summers here. Now she returns to her late grandmother's home to find that she's left behind a series of letters and lost family secrets for Mimi to uncover. Revisit Mimi's childhood memories and help her reconnect with the inquisitive girl she once was. Play both in the past and the present. Skip along the picturesque French countryside as 10-year-old Mimi while exploring her grandmother's house in the present. Discover the close relationship between grandmother and granddaughter as you collect photos, objects, and words. Use yeah, them to fill it. Mimi's journal and keep forward. her precious memories alive. Dordogne travels onto the Nintendo Definitely Switch system into it, next spring. What are these games are not into? I can barely keep a houseplant a lot too alive. Much heavy don't story worry. On. You don't need a green thumb to enjoy this one. As Arabella Green, like you're one, a retired botanist who has a grand manor all to yourself. Take care of its magnificent gardens by solving plant-based yeah, puzzles and preserving a collection of forgotten flora. Yeah, game I'm not into, guys. There's a lot of like, some simulation type of thing. seeds. Pop them I'm definitely and not find into their it. ideal habitat. Some plants will be fussy, so you'll have to think outside the box or pot to locate the right place for them. Inspect the manor for clues, newspaper clippings, letters, and more to help your gardening skills blossom while learning more about Arabella herself. Stop and smell yep, the flowers so one on when Bonnie guys. Manor okay. blooms onto Nintendo Very, um, Switch yeah. next year. There's a lot of different games, but none of them are too... Whoa, sick crocodile costume. It's a dragon. <laughs> anyway, we better start the show if you want to win the theater contest. Okay, let's go. The oh, Royal right. Theatrical Spectacle Yeah, never game I'm on to. I don't really care for um, drama, but I can... I know... I think there'll be a lot of people who will be playing this. I'm not one of them, but... You guys totally have a chance to win the contest and perform at the Royal Theatrical Spectacle. The Royal Theatrical Spec, the Royalty Spay Part, yeah, the Royalty Spay Spectatorus. Stand down, dragon. You're no match for me. You'll never defeat me, prince. Oh, it's a film all. Hoi, we zijn Bonte Avond, een groep van vier muzikanten die samen games zijn gaan maken. Games maken voelt soms als optreden voor ons. Voice acting improviseren met vrienden, samen liedjes spelen en gewoon grapjes en ideeën ter plekke bedenken. Je kan het ook voelen in het spel, waar vaak wat je hoort ook ons eerste take was. We wilden de spelers dit gevoel van improvisatie geven door ze te laten acteren, zingen en dansen in ons nieuwe spel Once, Once Upon a Jester. Jester. Okay, het gevoel met zelfgemaakte really liedjes, weird. grappige personages en avonturen. We hopen dat je het leuk zal vinden. You know what? I'm joining a traveling theater troupe. <laughs> Surely you jest. Nope. Musical theater rules. That's what best friends Sock and Jester are about I'm to discover. They've devised a so mischievous scheme to, to steal a royal diamond. Just, yeah. Trouble is, their plan the hinges on receiving consider, an but... invitation to join yeah, the famous the royal theatrical crap. spectacle. I mean, a lot of people are going to say it's good, but to me, invited, it's not my top So they'll theme. have to improv their way to fame and outperform every other act they encounter so on the road. A bit more by, um, Join them on their wacky, whimsical journey across a fantasy kingdom full of silly characters and even sillier spectacles. No two performances are the same. So sing your heart out, crack jokes, and make the stage your own. Once upon a jester, jingle song to Nintendo Switch later today. Anyone can be a hero in this sequel to the classic roguelite game where the adventure changes with every playthrough. Whether this you're one a looks playing good. bard with vertigo or a vegan chef who fights this whole, meats, this whole game's your goals are the same. Guys, Gather countless riches, build up your castle, and ensure really... your legacy. 
Yeah. All your upgrades carry over to your heirs, and each new successor wields their own personal traits and abilities. Oh, sounds cool. The Nintendo Switch version also includes the Fabled Heroes update, adding a ton of new content, including dozens of new subclasses and items. So experiment with different play styles as you battle fierce foes, make friends, and avoid clown bites that can give you clownanthropy. Ugh, you might want to get that looked at. You won't have to wait long to build your own legacy. Rogue Legacy 2 launches on Nintendo Switch later one. today. Buddy up and experience the emotional tale of an unlikely friendship in the co-op adventure, Blanc. A wolf cub and a fawn are stranded together after a sudden snowstorm. Now, they must learn to rely on each other as they trek through the vast snowy wilderness, following their family's tracks. Two players must work together by using All each right, animal's abilities to navigate obstacles among the frosty terrain. In addition to simple controls, this game's story and gameplay are both text-free, so anyone can easily immerse themselves in this handcrafted monochrome. Yeah, world. no thanks. If it's two players, it's really Start a big your letdown, journey when Blanc steps onto Nintendo Switch as a console exclusive on February 14th. Pre-orders begin later today. Can't get enough indies? Let's take a look at some more games I coming know, to Nintendo I'm Switch soon. I don't even them worth anything to me. I'm disappointed. <laughs> uh, West Wall. Uh, yeah. Maybe. Um, definitely not. So it's just still got a few more minutes, so. It's more stuff that's really more, I don't know, I feel like they're more for kids than anything else. There's nothing here that really appeals to me. I mean, there's three games, maybe four games top, but yeah, none of them do appeal. I guess we like to keep things pretty tidy around the house, don't we? Yeah, it can be so satisfying to find the right spot for things. Yeah, like I love finding oh, no, the perfectly messy, sized plastic container to fit leftovers in. That's Everything the best. Looks like I know. Just open, this is what shelves. our game A Little to the Left is all about. Finding satisfying puzzles hidden among household objects. Yeah, it's inspired by our lives, our home, and our cat, Rookie. Rookie just gets in the way sometimes. He can't help it. He sleeps at Lucas's desk while he's working. Yeah, and I have to type between the tail switches. Yeah. So we hope you have a really good time tidying up. I usually just the throw them away. Thanks. Can you move this picture a bit? Yes, a bit to the left. A little bit more. That's it. Perfect. Wow, you really like things neat and tidy, huh? You will too after playing a little to the left. A cozy puzzle game where yeah, you nothing. organize household objects into satisfying arrangements. Sort spoons of oh, different no, sizes like and shapes, a lot stack of papers, OCD, you play put away the jobs. cat toys. Oh, did I mention there's a cat? Hey, pause off. This fluffy friend has mischief on their mind and will show up from time to time to make a mess of your beautifully organized objects. 
But don't worry, there are more than 75 delightful messes to solve, many of which have multiple solutions. Oh, and yes, you can pet the cat. Neat. A little to the left, he launches on Nintendo Switch well, I don't know. I think later the cat today. Being bad, I probably want to block him up. And that's it for today's indie. All right, guys. So the indie games have finally finished. Wait, is that um, That was so disappointing. I Sorry to don't care what anyone in, says. but we have an update on Sports Story. In this all-out sporting RPG, you'll rise through the ranks of the sports world and prove your prowess on the golf course, tennis court, and soccer field. There are even more sports in your quest for athletic excellence. Raise yeah, your sporting no rank to unlock even Not more disciplines, including BMX, mini golf, volleyball, cricket, and more. Then kick back at the mall to relax, go on quests, and explore dungeons? That's right. This game isn't just about sports. Hop on a train or helicopter to visit goat-infested buildings, abandoned okay, ruins, sounds, and the like mysterious no wildlands. Or pursue your other much. passions. Make friends and enemies, go fishing, become a detective, partake in a bit of espionage. There's so much to do. You won't have to wait long. Sports Story yeah, no kicks thanks. off on the guys. Nintendo sounds Switch like system next today. month. It's... And that's it for today's Indie World. We so hope yeah, you enjoyed the games in today's for the showcase. Most part, a, a big thank you to our indie story. community and to partners working on games, games for Nintendo Switch. Like and the, um... as always, thank you for watching. Well, Don't you know forget to follow like, our so... official Twitter account to stay up to date on all the latest news from Indie World. So yeah, I'm disappointed Until on that next one, time, Hopefully... happy gaming! We'll see how things go, guys. We're going to finish it here with them. We're done for today. And cheers!